The story begins with Natsu, a student visiting his best friend. He confesses to him that the day before he exercised with a girl he had just met. His best friend asks him how this is possible since he loves someone. Natsu then tells him the whole story. Two days ago, Natsu was with his friends in the halls of the school talking about the young teacher Hina. To console themselves for not being able to go out with her, they decide to go for a drink with some friends. Once there, Natsu meets Rui, a young girl who can't express her emotions. Natsu explains to her that he was like that before too, but that a friend helped him to change. It is then that Rui proposes to him to go out a little boat. Once outside, she asks him a favor and takes him to her house. Natsu still doesn't know what she wants and asks her the question. Rui asks her to do some exercise together. <laughs> She explains that she needs to know what it feels like to be able to talk about it with her friends and not look innocent. So Natsu agrees to do some exercises with Rui. On the way out, Rui reminds Natsu that they have to act as if nothing had happened. Then Rui leaves. Natsu finishes his story to his best friend. He confirms that he is the luckiest guy on earth, so why look so sad? Natsu answers that he has someone he loves and he would have preferred to make his first time with her. The next day at school, Natsu is on the roof when Hina comes to talk to him. He asks her if everything is fine because she usually comes here when there is a problem. But Hina doesn't take him seriously for this kind of conversation and reminds him not to be late for the class. The next day, Natsu refuses the invitation of his friends to continue writing his novel on the roof. When he comes out of the building, he sees Hina facing the fence, crying. Natsu asks her what is wrong, but Hina invents a pretext. He admits to her that he is worried about her, but once again, she doesn't take him seriously. Natsu is fed up with it and makes her understand that it is necessary to stop taking him for a child. Close to confessing his love, Hina's phone rings, which ends the conversation. In the evening, Natsu goes home and thinks about everything that happened, when his father interrupts his thoughts to tell him something important. So his father is thinking of remarrying a woman when suddenly the doorbell rang. Natsu's father's future wife introduces herself when she suddenly calls her two daughters, the two daughters are Hina and Rui, that Natsu has already met on surprising occasions. With the effect of the shock, Natsu loses consciousness. After regaining consciousness, they make introductions to the table. Hina introduces her sister Rui. Of course, Rui makes it clear that they have never met. She doesn't want them to know anything about what happened between them. After finishing the introductions, Natsu discovers that Hina likes to drink alcohol, but he can't drink it because he is minor. After spending the evening drinking and talking, the girls decide to leave. To get an opinion, Natsu goes to see his best friend and explains him everything. He asks him if he shouldn't give up the idea of going out with Hina, but Natsu has difficulty to give up this idea. The next day, the two families meet in their new house that they have just bought to unpack all the boxes. Hina takes the time to go to Natsu and tell him that she is happy to have a little brother. She insists on talking to each other in a familiar way. Then, she suggests him to call her Hina-chan. This makes Natsu blush. In the evening, the family prepares to eat in the living room when suddenly, Hina comes out of the bathroom having forgotten something. <gasps> A few moments later, she comes back dressed and apologizes. After eating, the parents decide to go to bed and advise Natsu not to stay up too late. Natsu succumbs to the temptation and tries to embrace her. But at this moment, Rui sees him by opening the door of his room. <gasps> How Natsu will manage all these events? You will know if you watch the next episodes. Thanks for watching my video and if you like the content, don't hesitate to subscribe. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye.